Hey everyone, welcome back to TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX. I'm Insetic, with me as usual is Blank Tester. YOLO, it's me, Blank Tester. And we're back for the final challenge. We've got all the sprockets, we've got golds in the main competitions. It's time for a trial by fire. Uh this competition is gonna blend dirt, street, and vert. So you gotta bust it big in all three environments. You gotta Did you show... say sturt? What? Did you say sturt? Uh, I started doing street, vert, dirt, and then I looked down and noticed they rearranged. Dirt, street, dirt, okay. street, vert. So I kind of canceled out at the last second. Sturt, sturt, dirt, and vert. Sturt, dirt, and vert. Yeah. <laughs> so the way this course is set up, uh, as you stare at the pretty uh, looping fire. Is that around the outside, around the outside, there's a dirt track. And then uh -huh. at the corners, or at least two of them, you can drop into some vert bowls, some big vert bowls and big vert half pipes. Huh. And then as we ride further down, you'll see just, they didn't even really try and incorporate these that well, you'll see just entrances to street environments. Oh. Um, so yeah, it gives you a lot to play with. Yeah, you, the uh, the band. Oh, the just like a hole, yeah. It's just a hole, and then there's like a room of street. Okay. I don't. I don't know the exact algorithms of like how much the game prioritizes you hitting all three areas, but I, I mean, I do know that you know you can keep a pretty good combo up if you do keep it fresh in different areas. Not a combo, but a multiplier. Yeah. And hey, some of these jumps you can actually land those tricks you could never land before. Huh. And then, of course, you can go for the same tricks because my stupid brain, like, muscle memories the hardest tricks. I don't know uh. why, but, like, the two tricks that are so long that I keep crashing on them, that's what my brain, like, auto goes for if I'm not thinking. Which yeah. is kind of annoying. Um, wow. That was a. So yeah, that I was mean, the butt stomp, yeah. You know, obviously. Things could probably be incorporated better, but like, mm -hmm. it's a decent idea. Yeah, the level seems all right. Yeah, it's kind of just like a like a target symbol, where you've got like the outer ring, the middle ring, and then the inner dot, and that's kind of all right. Yeah, yeah. There's like one street environment that I've gone into like twice. I think it's I make it into it on the last uh, heat, heat three where I do not know how I get there because I was riding around looking for it in Heat 1 and 2 and just only finding that street environment that you saw. Yeah. You'll know the other one because it's got a lot more rails in the center. And like, I huh. just, I cannot map in my head how did I get there versus where I am everywhere else. Every yeah, other I, the problem I'm having with this is that it seems like there's... It's like I, I can't even quite oh, and figure that, out and in that my head blows that you can crash on the banners. Yeah, that was that dumb. really blows. Um, I was thinking like you know I, I'm trying to figure out the path of the level. Thank you, level, for telling me it's vert. Um, <laughs> but like I can't for the life of me like map it out in my head. Usually I can kind of get a general layout just from watching the video, but like I'm getting. Nothing. nothing really it's like yeah. there's like a, a vert tube here that kind of takes an s shape i think yeah yeah but i don't know what's what's around it are there maybe two vert tubes and that's how i maybe, get to the yeah. other street at the end I yeah get maybe a different vert tube without knowing i don't know like oh here but like this area with all the rails where i do yeah. like the only cranked rail grind of the entire playthrough Okay, can I just say, the way these rails are set up looks like the way I'd set up rails if I was making a level 4 in Cedic. Yeah, I kind of... Where I would just, like, put them, put them all together in the same spot, not facing... Not anything. facing really anything. Yeah, but I mean, even with all the dilly-dallying and putzing around, I'm at a 6 times multiplier, so I get, you know, can get thousands of points of tricks near the end. And really buff my score in the last like 30 seconds. Nice. 69. Not nice. Nice. Uh, 147, baby. 
Yeah, too bad don't get won't. any points. No, or... too, bad, too bad that won't be enough. Uh, oh. So you might notice, again, I've kind of got a line that I do. I stick with the dirt course for, you know, two straightaways, and then I turn off at the corner and I go into bird. Because, yeah. you know, these dirt jumps are across the entire space, whereas the dirt jumps on the other two sides are like, kind of like you saw in the Hong Kong level, sort of folded in the middle. So mm. you need to, like, jump from the outside, but jump inwards to hit where the multipliers are, and it's, like, too much work. Yes. Uh. Uh, okay. I thought you were gonna crash. Ooh. Well, I was gonna crash. Re rest in peace, man. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> uh, so you... There it is. Here is the level. You just go for it. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, interesting idea, but... Yeah, especially with the amount you have to trick, you can't really focus on what's going on. Mm. Another sick combo that probably saved my ass. Yeah. Saved your aspirations. Oh, there we go. That's That got in the way and then crashed me. Nice. Not, I mean, bad. Yeah, not, not, nice, yeah. Uh, I've had a few people uh, try the TJ Lavinoff challenge I mentioned. You know, download the game, download a complete save file that uh, uh, you can acquire through special means <coughs> and, um, you know, try to beat my score. The most I've heard back is none of my emulators are working and or this game sucks. So, yeah, no, uh, you, you know, you should just reply to the first one with like, no, no, the game really plays like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is how the game works, my dude. Um... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess try to get around 60,000 or whatever. That's Synthetic's hot tip. Uh, you'll play really hot well. Hot tip, try to do good. <laughs> yeah. If you do it just right, you can get a sick multiplier and then get zero points in the last 20 seconds because you keep crashing. But yeah. whatever, you'll get ahead. And then once you back out... Oh, hey, we get an ending cinematic. And just like in all these games, it's a Bales montage. We get rewarded for getting through the game by watching other people crash. Or to uh, watch other people crash. I mean, they're just trying to show... This is actually, like, concept footage for the game. They were... They were like... <laughs> They were like, <laughs> this is what I want the game to play like. <laughs> right, like, we want to emulate this experience yeah, right here, where that part. <laughs> you crash most of the time you try to do They're like, oh, tricks. so you want, like, a realistic physics thing? No, 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 that's <laughs> not, not what I'm talking about. Not, no. Just, like, watch this. <laughs> boom. Oh, no, wait. And then, boom, that boom. part. He goes where he for like, a spin, and even though he lands... Just imagine a zero, a big fat zero <laughs> appearing on screen when he, when he does... Yeah. He needs to look at the bike like, why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God. Like you go for something ambitious and you're not you're punished for it. That's what I wanna give <laughs> <laughs> You go for something ambitious and you get punished. Congratulations, you found the cheesy ending. Yeah. Uh, TJ, THQ and all this here, thank you for Look playing. for BMX two coming soon. Yeah, I uh I picked up Dave Mira BMX 2 like a couple years after this and I had some fun there. Maybe picked up Matt Hoffman BMX 2 and had some fun as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, they were uh, they were definitely talking about sequels to other games. Sequels to other <laughs> much better games. <laughs> this this is the kind of experience I want my player to have. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> So oh my god, imagine if, imagine if at the end of, like, Call of Duty Big Red 1, it was just like, look forward to Halo 2. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Look forward to someone else's sequel. Because this one's never getting one. This one's ass. <laughs> uh, Alright. Not that Big Red 1 was ass. Hey, Big Red 1 is actually really good. Yeah, no, 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 no. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, Anything nah. else? Nope. Uh... I don't think this game will have a bonus video, mainly because I don't know Fuck what to show game. off, you know? Or, it's yeah, that too. Pretty bare bones. Pro Circuit, you got everything in there. It's not like there's extra levels or a park editor or funny cheat codes. No, it's pretty, you know, standard, stripped-down experience. Um, so, yeah. What can I say about TJ Lavin? 
Uh, it starts off decent but clunky, but then as the levels open up, you have more things that are just super confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, more things that just are obvious to the devs but not to you. And then you get challenges that just take all your time to do if you do them right. It becomes more and more of an annoying experience. To where, yeah, you kind of end the game going, glad that's over. If you get there. I've had several comments, <sighs> you know, even on like levels three or four going like, this is the furthest I got, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Which doesn't. No. But it, again, it's the perfect. Maybe image. they were just talking about through your shitty LP. Again, it's well. I mean, I hope <laughs> I hope they stuck with it. But again, this is the perfect game to show off for the channel because this game has been forgotten by time. Yeah, I knew about Dave Mira, even though I didn't play the first one. I knew about the Matt Hoffman series, even though I didn't play those as a kid. I didn't know about TJ Lavin. I had to discover it existed while searching for games. I never yeah. saw, I never internalized anywhere anyone talking about it. TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX has been lost to time. Yeah, and until now. Yeah, I guess you could check these videos and see if you want it to still be lost to time. or if you wanna... This is evidence that it exists. Yeah, this game exists. Uh, yeah. So, I'm still on a, I don't know exactly what the next game is, but I'm still on a P PS1 block. So maybe something else from that era, maybe like a grind session or a thrasher or some other big name game I haven't got to yet, or maybe I'll find some other uh, cast aside Obscure, little yeah. gem to show off. But yeah, thank you all for watching through my whole series. If you did, I'm glad I was able to entertain you. Mm-hmm.